Driven Dave here with a uh, kind of a fun video. Before we get into it, do me a favor, right down there, please subscribe, please. I don't care if you watch, you never watch another video, please subscribe. <laughs> it would really help me out, please. Now that we got that out of the way, today, as you can see, I'm in the middle row of the 2008 Toyota Sienna XLE Limited. I know it's impressive. And we've got an issue with this guy right here. There we go. Camera guy isn't so good on this video. <clears throat> so this thing has not been working very well. Remember, we bought a bunch of cheap DVDs and one of them had all kinds of hamburgers and French fries, who knows what on the disc. And I just, I've never really cared for DVD players. I just throw the disc in and, and that's it and never really have a problem. Well, the discs that I put in were so dirty and so scratched that it messed up the player. So we've had to kind of like not use it for a while, which has been fine. You know, we don't want our, our kids watching too, too many uh, uh, DVDs in the car and stuff, but it is nice to have, especially in the long trips. So I was doing some reading and apparently what happens is, you know, inside of the player can get dirty. It can mess up the, the sensor thingy, the laser, I don't know. It, it's just supposed to work and it doesn't. So I got this Ars Vita CD VCD DVD cleaner and it's a special little CD. I'll try and show you this one handed. Should have pre opened this. Sorry. And it's a special little CD that has brushes on it. And these brushes are designed to actually clean the player. Now I'm a little nervous about this, truthfully. Um, also, no kickback from Ars Vita. I had to buy this with my own money. And if you look closely here, it kind of just looks like a CD with brushes. I mean, and they're just kind of glued on there. I, I am nervous about this. <laughs> I'm very nervous about this. But, you know, the darn thing doesn't seem to work right now. So kind of figure, what do I have to lose? I mean might have to take it out and get it fixed anyway. So might as well try this. Apparently you can do this two or three times a month and that this cleaning disc should last 30 uses, something like that. So let's see what happens. I'm nervous, but hopeful. So here we go. So let's see if this will pop in at this point. Yes. See, sometimes you just have to turn it off and turn it back on again. I can hear it. Sweet. So it says that the cleaning process takes 20 or 30 minutes. It's kind of a bummer because I it's already 11 o'clock at night. Man, <laughs> it's going to take a minute. Uh, but, oh, there, I'll turn my ring light back on. Man, that's bright. Uh, but that ought to that ought to do it. Well what to do. I think I'll probably, I'll take care of some other stuff and then I'll come back in 20 minutes and see what happens. But I can hear, I can hear it doing its thing. I can hear those brushes doing whatever it is they do and uh, get some cleaner and <laughs> that's going to be nice. Looks like someone had some, yeah. I'm not going to blame my son, except it was him. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm going to try and clean that up. There's all, I also found some goo on this seat <laughs> when I removed the car seat. So I'm going to clean that too. Okay, you know, make myself useful. Um, all right, I will check back. One thing I forgot to actually check. This disc has some nice, nice little piano music on there. That's kind of cool. Aww. Wow, six tracks of... All right, I'm gonna make this brief because I don't know if this is copyrighted. This is track four. Not what I expected. And here we are with track five. Again, not what I expected from my Ars Vita cleaning. <laughs> 
Sounds like Ode to Joy. Good piece of music. I wish it was, you know, performed by real instruments, but hey man, that's cool. It was a good choice. Okay, well, I'm gonna let this play and then I'll let you know what happens. Okay, I have to say, I'm impressed that this is full with development and, and the whole thing. For those of you that don't know, Ode to Joy is from the Ninth Symphony by Ludwig von Beethoven. All right, and this is in the, I think I just said in the fourth movement. First performed in 1824. So almost 200 years ago. Pretty cool. And it's, it's a piece that has become uh, just famous to not only, of course, musicians, but also, uh, I mean, everyone knows this melody. At least I hope they do. Um, pretty neat that it's on the disc. I mean, it's a cheesy MIDI mock-up, but it sounds, it's still great music, even when it's poorly performed. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're back. We're back to uh, track number one. We're gonna go with this disc. I would like to clean it, but it's pretty clean as you can see. Got a little bit of Care Bears. Festival of Fun, so we're back to the Pocket Bell Cannon. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and eject the cleaning disc. Kind of inspect this for a minute and just see how see how she's looking. Looks like the brush has got a bit of a workout. But everything appears to be fine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. It was brushes up in the in the case, so we're gonna go with that. And now we're gonna go with the uh, Care Bear. Let's see what happens. All right, looks good so far. So far, so good. We were having issues with, you know, it would just get stuck. I think this was one disc that worked pretty well. Hmm, yeah. It seems a little sluggish, but it's been a while since I've used this, uh, this player, so I could just be, I might just be being picky here. It seems to be functional. Yeah, let's see if, okay, I can't use those buttons yet. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. Don't seem to have any audio. I don't know if that's an issue. It's kind of a complaint I have with this setup. Like, if you're going to watch a movie, you're going to be back here. I mean, there is a remote. I haven't ever... There we go. <laughs> All right, so we got Clifford the dog. Yeah, you just have to like go up there and hit, hit what you call it, the DVD button. Yeah, so I think we're. Oops, I didn't know I could do that never been over here. This is cool. Oh, okay, take me back. <laughs> yeah, I want this one. Oh, come on. You know, back in the day, this was like, oh, come on. 
next chapter. Back in the day, this was like top tech. Of course, now everything's touch screen, but this is not touch screen. Uh, while we were listening to all the music, I took the opportunity to get all the fingerprints off the screen. As you can see, it looks kind of good. It's, you know, could be better, but I did okay. Uh-oh. Try the old turn it off, turn it back on trick again. All right, I don't like this disc. I'm going to try something else. All right, I've decided to go with the Lego movie, which seems to be pretty clean. Could be better. Not terrible. All right, here we go. Please work. <laughs> Please. And it looks like I'll probably have to go back to the front and select DVD. I selected disc in the front. This is not a good sign. Oh, so my... The Ars Vita. I don't blame it for this problem because this is not... It's not the fault of Ars Vita. Um, I can only assume that their disc works just fine. I think... I may just have a bigger problem than a dirty, um, a dirty lens or whatever. So I think I'm going to have to Google this a little bit more. I was hoping this would be just like an easy how to clean your thing. Uh, apparently this works in, you know, any kind of CD, VCD, DVD player. So, you know, you can use it in any of those applications. I was hoping it would fix this application, but I'm thinking I may have to just, uh, and then take this into the, the repair shop. Probably gonna cost another 400 bucks. <sighs> it's kind of a drag, but you know, yeah, this does not work anymore. Yeah, just, <laughs> she ain't happy. I think that's my conclusion. <laughs> the cleaner but I think I'm gonna have to do a whole whole thing on how to remove this it shouldn't be that hard so yeah yeah we're we're hosed so anyway please like the video and uh, yeah I, I'm sorry it wasn't more helpful but at least we found out you know what kind of music is on this disc and that's kind of fun so anyway thank you for watching a very inconclusive video and I will see you very soon in the next one. Take care.